Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to see how to find whether a number is Adam number or not. So first of all, we have to understand what is Adam number. If you have a number and if you want to find whether it is Adam number or not, we just have to do this. We just have to square the number and then we are just have to take the reverse of the number and square it. So if the number square and its reverse is square, both are reverse to each other, then we say that number is Adam number. So square of a number and its and the square of the reverse of the number is reverse to each other. So the example here I had given 13. Square of 13 is 169. Then we just reverse this 13. This is 31. Square of 31 is 961. So 169 and the 961 are reverse to each other. So if this is the case, then 13 is said to be Adam number. So square of a number and the square of its reverse, that is 31 square, is reverse to each other. Then we say that number is Adam number. Okay. So if you want to implement this in Python, let us see how to do. So here, we are going to modelize the code. We will write one function which will reverse the number. So first we will get the number from the user. Say num I got from the user. This way enter a number. So the user enters the number here and we are converting it to integer. Let us assume that he is entering a valid uh, integer value. So first what we have to do, we just have to take a square of that number, then we have to reverse that number and then we have to take that square, then we have to find out whether these two are reverse to each other. That's it. So first task is find the square of the number you got. Okay. So what is the square of the number? Just you do num star num or you can just say num double star uh, 2 it is num square I got so this one I can store it in x okay so x has square of the number okay now I will be storing y equal to okay the reverse the reverse of number and uh, square it okay so numbers reverse is squared and it is stored in y now what we have to do we just have to check whether x is equal to equal to reverse of y okay so if this is the case so we just have to find out this if uh, x which is the square of the number which is 169 is equal to reverse of or oh sorry is equal to reverse of y because what is y y is this example 961 31 square so i just have to reverse this 160 969 961 is reverse it's 169 whether are they equal then that we have to find out okay so then it say print uh, yes adam we just say yes it's adam number else we say no not Adam. so imagine what I am uh, doing here where you are entering 13 just imagine this 13 is entered as part of input so first what is happening we are just uh, squaring it we got 169 then we are reversing this this will be reversing ok so I will be getting 31 31 square is 961 961 is stored in y now y contains 961 now next check is if x which is 169 is equal to reverse of y reverse of y what is reverse of y y is 961 reverse of y is 169 so 169 is equal to 169 means yes so otherwise it will be no which is no 
this number is not a add up number here yes means this number 13 we are working for 13 so 13 is add up or not okay so we are just have to write a function for reversing so now in this case for 13 it will hit here it will hit here so we just have to write a function for reversing okay so how to do def reverse your writing colon we are entering so what it is getting it is getting a number i just put m okay we are passing a num and then uh, it has to return a number okay integer so num is an integer you just see it's an integer after reversing it has to return an integer only so there is a function to reverse we have uh, that needs a string so first we will convert uh, it to a string so number is converted to string str of n it is converted to string say a string i am storing in say t temporary variable i am storing t okay i want to reverse this okay i just say rv or t okay reverse of uh, t okay reverse of t is uh, i just say t and then uh, we just just uh, slice mechanism we do minus one it will give me the reversed t right so here i am passing number 13 13 goes here it's stored in n converting 13 to string now t is containing 13 in string format now 13 is reversed and rt contains 31 in string format so i just have to convert okay i will return integer format of typecasted to integer so i return this value that is int of rt rt is a string and uh, convert to integer so here i got 31 so once we got 31 31 square will happen so what is this functions uh, objective here it just gets a number and it returns the reversed number okay reverse number so in this case 13 is passed it got 31 31 square is 961 y is having 961 now it comes here reverse of y we are seeing what is the reverse of y reverse of y is spelling reverse okay so this reverse same spelling reverse it's calling reverse reverse of y reverse of y it goes here we are passing 961 string of 961 is stored in t 961 is reversed 169 is stored in rt it's a string format so then we are converting string format to integer and we are returning returning to this place so x is 169 it is equated it is uh, checked whether it is equal to this 169 both are equal then it print it will print yes but if i enter 14 14 will be failing okay so in this case let us see if whether it is working finally for 13 which is adam number some syntax error is there double quotes enter a number 13 yes 13 is a Adam number I'm entering 14 no it's not Adam number like this we can find whether a number is Adam or not okay we are using a simple function to reverse it does not have any loop so it's a very simple problem okay now if you are asked to find a uh, case where uh, print uh, Adam numbers from 100 to 200 so for example if you have this one your objective is print Adam numbers from 100 to 200 print all Adam numbers between or from 100 to 200 let us say for this example we just uh, here found out where a number is Adam or not now we just have to find all Adam numbers in a specific range. So you need no need to print whether it is not Adam. So we just have to print the number if it is Adam. So instead of printing S, I'll just print uh, X itself, which is uh, not X, uh, it's a number. I'll print the number if it is equal. Here I just say print the number which is Adam. Okay reverse function will be will be using this okay this is a simple logic we are having so what we'll just put i just put a tab space 
put a for say for num in range starting from 100 okay and ending in 201 because we need to find from 100 to 200 so this line becomes obsolete i don't need to get input from the user this function stays and this for loop runs and num is a variable pointing from 100 to 201 so first initially we are working for 100 where 100 is Adam or not, we'll just see. So we'll remove all these uh, comments when we work for 13. So now here it's uh, gonna do the same job. Just we just put this logic of reverse finding. And if it is equal, I'm just printing that. Uh, uh, so it's very simple. So first we are running a num from 100 to 200. So first initially num points to 100. It comes in say the body of the loop. 100 square is happening, it's stored here. So reverse of 100 is done and its square is stored in y. Now the squared's x is the square of the n square, y is the reverse n square. Okay. So we are reversing these two squares and we are checking whether they are equal. You're reversing one of them. Okay. Either you can reverse x or you reverse y. Don't reverse both. Okay. So this uh, x which is n square, this is reverse of n square okay that is why so we are reversing that and then we are printing just the same logic okay so if we execute problem where is the problem range colon is missing okay see it's printing the atom numbers from 100 to 200 if you go from 100 to 1000 what you can do i just go up to 1001 We'll print all the numbers from 100 to 1001. 2000 is there. Adam number still 2000. Likewise, you can just set the range. It just prints all Adam numbers in the range. So it's uh, very simple if you use functions. See here we are using slicing, which is a powerful tool in Python. Okay. And here we are converting to string to integer, integer to string in a very easy manner. That's also power of Python here. And uh, you see, range function, it just gives a, a sequence and then this for loop gives, there is no need to increment, and it's all taken care of. So that is why the logic is so simple. Okay, it looks so simple. Okay, I hope you have uh, gained something from this. Thank you.